Simula po ng taong ito, madami na pong wars na nangyari. Meron pong war between countries, yung USA and Iran. Yung wildfire sa Australia. Sa Pilipinas naman po ay yung pagputok ng Taal Volcano. Meron naman din uh, mga bansa na nagkaroon ng locust infestation. At ang pinakamalalang war na nangyayari ngayon sa buong bansa is itong war against COVID-19 or kilala bilang coronavirus. Sabi nga po sa isang verse sa Bible, sa book of 2 Chronicles 7, 13-15, When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among my people, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer that is made in this place. Sa buhay po natin maraming wars na nangyayari, especially sa life ko. And most of the wars that happen in my life are hindi na yung war na nasa labas eh. Hindi na yung war na meron akong kalaban, meron akong kaaway, but it's the war that are happening inside of me, you know. I really have a lot of uh, struggles when it comes uh, growing up. Tulad po ng uh, war with my identity, this war with my self-esteem, this war against uh, security, war against rejection, affection, belongingness, war against negative thoughts. And most of the time is uh, growing up po. When I fight these wars alone, hindi ko hinahayaan ng Lord na lumaban or lumaban na kasama ko, natatalo ako. And that was the time that I said, Lord, ayoko na. Suko na ako, Lord. Ito mga bagay na to, ayoko nang labanan na ako lang. But I want to end these wars with you, o Lord. I want to fight these wars, these things, These battles, the rages inside of me. Lord, will you please win this war for me? Tulungan mo ako kasi hindi ko na kaya. Or uh, some of you might think na parang kailangan ko yan, kailangan ko yung word na yan. Kailangan po talaga nating malaman na hindi lahat ng wars na nangyayari sa buhay natin ay kaya nating talunin na tayo lang mag-isa. But when you have this God, When we have this God who are our uh, fortress, our stronghold, somebody or someone who'd be fight for me in the sense na tinutulungan niya ako. And thanks God, He end all the wars that are raging deep down inside for me. Sabi nga ng Exodus 14, 14, The Lord Himself will fight for you. Just uh, stay calm. He is able po to end all the wars around this world and much more. He is able to win and to end all the wars that is happening deep down inside of us. You know, this uh, uh, quarantine moments po, these moments that we are all alone in our houses and we are in uh, isolation. Alam nyo ba, there's an article na nabasa ko na karang araw na isa sa mga problema more than just the virus is there will come a time that uh, there will be an emotional torment, mental health will be affected, people will be depressed, and a lot of those stuff. And isa sa mga kakalabanin natin is yung mga effects nito. You know, a lot of us, uh, maybe some of us meron na, nakaka-experience ka na na parang nadidepress ka na kasi mag ka lang, kasi we know man is created to be sociable diba we talk we mingle we hug we are there pero ngayon walang nangyayari walang ganito and there were combating that there's a war still despite the things that we see but uh, always remember po let us not fear let us not worry because we have this God who ends all these wars sabihin mo po sa katabi mo kung may katabi ka naman po sabi mo sa sarili mo, God will end these wars for me. Maraming uh, salamat po and to God be all the glory. Amen.